Hello, welcome to Yinka and Friends. Today I'm in the Coffee Works project talking to Ashley Waters about his solo music career and his role in Top Boy. Yeah! Caught up in the system, system. Dodging the writings on the walls. I know the feds, them listening, they're listening. Still I fight against the law, the law. Putting up a resistance. Trying to be a top boy. So thank you for joining me. You're welcome. How are you feeling today? Feeling good. Yeah? Feeling good, yeah, very good. In the mood to give me some information? I'm always in the mood to give me information. <laughs> if you know me, then you know that. You know, Ashley Waters talks too much, to be honest. So for those who've been living underneath a rock, tell me about your role in Topway. Um, for me, you know, the, I mean, the show, the actual basic premise of the show is about a group of boys that are in the drug game um, on quite a low level, um, but have a desire to get quickly to, to the top of it where the actual money is being made. Um, so hence the title, you know, being Top Boy. Um, I play Deshane, who is um, the leader of this, this crew, um, and is trying to take everyone, you know, to that higher level. But obviously, as you know, when you're trying to do something, um, especially when you're in the drug game, and you're trying to make that sort of move, um, there's gonna be people that try and come in your way and stop you, so basically that's what Top Boy is about, a slice of London life. And what made you get involved in the program? Um, I can relate, you know, it's, it's something that I, I'm around and I see on a daily basis or I have, I have a, a, a close connection with um, through people that I've met along, along my life. And um, I thought it was just really good writing and I thought it was something that um, hasn't been done on TV in a long time. My plan, like with my career, I try and, I don't try and over expose myself too much but also I want to be at the start of a new phase so you know for me like Soul Solid was the start of a new form of music or a new genre or a new wave and you know, Bullet Boy for me was the start of a lot of films that came after um, and Top Boy hopefully is the start of a, a, new, a new thing for, for UK TV. Um, I think that we, there's so much room for us to improve when it comes to how we make TV shows <laughs> over here compared to the States and other places in the world. Um, but I think we're, we're on that journey at the moment. The Hot Boy ended like on a cliffhanger yeah. in the most recent season. Yeah. Is, is there going to be another one? I hope so. Yeah, and will so. you be down with it? Yeah, of course, of course. Um, when I die, then, then, <laughs> then, <laughs> then you know I'm not now. down. I actually didn't want to be mixed. <laughs> um, but yeah, for now, I think it's just so love, like even after the first series, we never expected it to be an ongoing thing. It was just a one-off, four-part drama. I've done a lot of those. Um, but it got so much love um, that they couldn't refuse doing the second. Um, and I thought after the second, I'd kind of hang up my, my um, what do you call Top it? My coat. Cat, my coat or my boots or whatever. <laughs> and then um, keep it moving, but everyone still wants more. It's not enough. Um, and I'm starting to even feel like, like four episodes is not enough or something like that. We tried to spread it over four weeks this time. We did it in four days last time. Mm. We tried to make that, kind of make it last a bit longer, but it still didn't work. So I think, yeah, we're, we're planning on, we're, we're sitting down, we're writing storylines for the next series now. So you've brought out music off the back of Top Way as well? Yeah, yeah, because I get quite disheartened. I love music. I had quite a big music career with So Solid. Which is what a lot of people would know you from yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, but my solo stuff hasn't been as well received as the group stuff. And it upsets me. <laughs> upsets me. I get kind of, so I'm still, I have this huge fire for music still. But now it's about working out. Like these days, you know, it's all about gimmicks, about, you know, you've got to have something else other than your music going on for yeah. people to be interested in your music and how you dress or what your voice is like or whatever the crap is. So, I just try to push it off the back of Top Boy. So when, when Top Boy season's out and everyone's kind of looking at what me and Kano and whatever else are doing, whoever else are doing, um, I just put out some music. I brought out three tracks. Um, started working with some trap producers because um, I'm feeling that at the moment. It's been a long time since I've felt any music that has come out in the, in the UK. Um, and then, yeah, you know, I, I've known Chipmunk for a while and. Um, there's a new guy called Jay Spades from Mashtown who's just, just pushing forward. And I kind of hollered at Chip and I was like, you want to do a track? Because Chip is a huge fan of Top Boy. Like, every time it's out, he's always on Twitter going in and whatever. Him and Giggs are like my biggest fans. So 
Um, <laughs> I just hollered at them, I was like, you guys want to make a track like for the end of Top Boy for the last um, ep? And we'll put it out after and see what it does. Chip was like, yeah, Gigs was somewhere else in, in the world, so you couldn't do it. We got Jay Spades on it. And we turned around the track in like 48 hours. It's a beauty of music, man, it's an mm. amazing thing. So tell me more about AD82. Um, AD82 is production company that at the moment so is solely kind of focuses on artist development um, and management. Um, I'm under the ma management of AD82, even though I'm a shareholder. <laughs> um, started developing artists, started doing music promos, um, short films, getting script writers in, working scripts, shopping them, pitching them to other people. Um, and it just went from there. I think we're like, what, nearly nine years in now, isn't it? Um, and we're still going strong, just about to do some big features, feature films and some TV series coming, coming from under our umbrella, which is, you know, a lot of nine years hard work paid off. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, a, but um, you know, our original idea was to make, give kids um, or you or the youth um, in the local community passion, a bit of determination, a bit of insight into media um, and into my world basically. So we had a lot of kids in it initially shadowing stuff that I would do that later went on to do a lot of other thing, big things in the industry, work with huge record labels and stuff like that. But it was just about giving people internships and opportunities for free to, to see what they could do with their lives. And what is next for you, like, in the next couple of months or years? What do you hope to be doing? Um, I want to, I mean, I'm heavily into directing at the moment. It's a passion of mine, so I want to push forward with that. Obviously, I'm making music at the moment as well, but doing that. Um, there's a whole kind of promotion will happening by, um, around stuff that I've done. Um, before and after I shoot, shoot shot Top Boy, um, which will be coming out. I mean, I've got a drama starting next month on BBC called Truckers, comedy drama, um, and Musketeers at the beginning of next year. Um, and so there'll be a lot of promotion surrounding that as well. But other than that, yeah, just um, just living my life, trying to. Yeah. I want to thank you for joining me. No worries, thank you very much. We're gonna hug it out. Okay. Bring it in. Cool.